Hi, I'm Dr. Craig Kinaperi, and this is part of a series of videos designed to help you in sleep training your child. Tonight, I'm going to talk specifically about a sleep training methodology known as the camping out method. This is the method that some parents might find useful in sleep training children if they are either not comfortable trying a cry it out method or if they've tried and failed in the past with the cry it out method. Remember, you don't want to try to sleep train a child who is younger than six months of age because they may not be ready for you to do that. So the way that this works is essentially you are camping out with your child and then slowly pulling away your presence at the time of sleep onset. As with all sleep training methods, the goal of it is to teach your child to fall asleep on their own. So, let's take, say for example, that your child is falling asleep while you're rubbing her back at night. When you start the camping out method, you are going to, on the night that you start, move yourself sitting next to your child's crib, but not touching your child. Of course, your child will look at you and say, you know, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Or imply it by the way that they're looking at you. Essentially, what you need to do is do your best to ignore your child. You may verbally acknowledge them, uh, but you should really try not to touch them or pick them up. I often find it's useful to have a script that you go through uh, in these situations to just say, I love you, it's time to go to sleep, you're okay, and good night. About two or three days later, then you're going to be sitting in a chair um, a little bit further from the crib. Continue doing this for three days, and then after that, you're going to move your chair a little bit further and closer to the door. Three days after that, you may be sitting near the door. Three days after that, sitting in the door. And then finally, three days after that, sitting outside the door and just offering verbal reassurance. Note that there may be some crying associated with this, and some parents may find it easier to switch to a cried out method if their child is fussing quite a bit as a result of them being in the room but not providing the desired contact. This could take a week or two, and it is slower than a traditional cried out method, but it is more comfortable for some families, and it is also scientifically proven to work. So. This pyramid just is a recap of this methodology. You're going to start by rubbing the back, then gradually moving back your involvement until you are finally sitting in the hall and only providing verbal reassurance. If you would like to res rapidly resolve nocturnal awakenings, when your child wakes up at night, you should go and sit in the chair in the same position that it was at sleep onset. Every time they wake up at night, However, in the situation of parents who are working or uh, really quite sleep deprived, as many of our families are, it is perfectly okay to, you know, essentially do what you need to survive during the night and keep working on teaching your child to fall asleep on your own. If you do that over time, your child will learn to fall asleep on their own and maintain a good night of sleep during the night. So for any questions, please come to my blog at drcraigcanaperry.com and let me know if you found this video was helpful. Thank you.